Hopefully. I'll see why it's so slow. It's probably going to mess with the radio. Yeah, this doesn't work. How's Zoom doing? Yeah, it's not bad. Well, especially if you're in this shuttle bus ride winds down to the banks of the Shenandoah River on the way to the historic town of Harper's Ferry below. Harper's Ferry had a prominent role in the American Civil War. Confederate troops scrambled up the steep ravine on the right in a flanking move that led to the capture of the Federal Police in 1862. It's hard to imagine this rural area in the forefront of the industrial transportation revolution of the 19th century. But the cutting edge of innovation was sharpened here for many years. The trade of artists is in one for the natural environment. For most of its history, the town prospered as a beneficiary of abundant water power and navigable waterways. At other times, floods roared through the valleys, nearly bringing the town to its feet. Floods are a natural component of life. These hillsides all around drain the Shenandoah River. The railroad tracks off to the right still carry freight south to the Shenandoah Valley and beyond. In the 19th century, it was known as the Winchester or Atomic Railroad and was used by both sides of the Civil War. Look for the river to the trees ahead and to the right. The narrow marsh or wetland between the park road and the hill provides refuge to a variety of plants, fish, insects, and animals. Today's wetland was once an open waterway known as the Shenandoah Canal. Boats navigated through this canal as a bypass around the rapids of the river. The canal also channeled river water toward the mills and factories on the stream. Businesses depended on this river as the source of energy to run the machinery that flourished here during the first half of the 19th century. In the early part, the canals and other were keys to the local economy. After the Civil War, the railroads and turnpikes became more important. Today, the trains still roll by while modern highways and bridges crisscross the river. Imagine the scene a century ago when water flowed through a canal right next to the park road, where trees are today. Great factories once stood, harnessing the energy of moving water to power their machinery. John Hall's Rifle Factory was located in this area. It produced weapons with interchangeable parts, which revolutionized the industrial process around the world. Watch for the stone ruins along the front. These structures, once supported a water power drill, were huge turbines around logs in the paper flow from 1955. The next year, the highest flood in recorded history devastated the building. The 1936 flood destroyed any hope of the industrial promise. The steep walls of rock along the left side of the road were used to build the canal walls, houses, and factories that once filled nearly every available space along the river's edge. Downtown Harper is very wide just ahead. Walk to Jefferson Rock, where Thomas Jefferson described the view as one of the most stupendous scenes in nature. Visit John Brown's Ford, the site of a desperate attack in slavery in 1859. Don't hesitate to ask a ranger about the history of Store College and consider a side trip to Bolivar Heights. For orientation, exhibits, and trail maps to all of these areas of the surrounding hillsides. Stop at the Information Center on the Mount Sarama. 
bookstore, postcards, videos, books, and gifts. And most important, have a safe and pleasant visit. <laughs>